okay hello friends this is Yusuf here welcome to another interesting rpg video so a uh, few days before uh, one of our friend uh, uh, asked me to do a video about you know handling uh, quotation marks in rpg Lee. so what it means is uh, sometimes when we want to execute a cl command uh, in rpg uh, that cl command itself will be having the single quotes inside right so when we are doing string concatenation, uh, many times uh, we may go into some uh, issues on how do we make that work. So today we're going to see uh, how we can do it easily. Uh, we're going to try uh, different options and then we'll conclude which will be easy and best to use. Okay. So for that, what I'm going to do. So I have taken uh, this particular small text file, which is there in my you know, uh, path home, the way you use and uh, a.txt, okay, which is a simple text file. And we, we're going to make a copy of this file, say, for example, okay. So we, I click 3, F4, and then I say that uh, I want to move into uh, home, the one where maybe, you know, uh, b.txt, okay. So if you want to do this particular op, uh, operation from RP, inside RPG LE, we need to know the exact CL command. So if you press Shift F2, then you'll come to know the command itself. So let me copy this command. Uh, this is a command we are going to uh, build, okay, inside the RPG LE and uh, see how we can do it. Okay, so I'm going to paste that uh, here for my reference. Okay, so when we are executing, right, uh, we don't need uh, these things uh, because it's coming from the system. Uh, it, 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 the system can understand this. Okay, so this is the thing. So if you if you make everything in a, in a variable, right? So there is a question: like How do we make these single codes easily? Those kind of questions are there. Okay, so let's jump into the code. Um, yeah. So I have. Okay, let's create a new program. F6 RPGM1 RPG. We do a quick boilerplate. So before we go and then do that particular statement, right? Let's try to understand. I, I'm going to have a one variable called string, and I'm going to give a length maybe 50. Okay. And here I'm going to assign some values. Okay. When I say hello world. Okay. Second, I say. Uh, second, I'm going to say that you know. Uh, Hello, plus. Okay. Third one is uh, four single quotes. Okay, and then hello. Okay, um, we can put another wall. And this again four. Okay, and then the another uh, one is we are gonna do something like uh, a different one. So hello plus i go to the next line and then say let me put one more space here and there are two questions okay so now we are trying to understand uh, you know um, each and every result and then try to uh, you know understand the default behavior of the code quotation marks okay so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to say this one let me compare with the debug mode. Okay, first one is pretty straightforward. Everybody might, might have guessed that it, it will have just uh, you know hello world. But here you can see this single quotes and then these single quotes are as part part of the variable. Okay, it's not related to the string. So if you print this, we will get the string hello world uh, without any quotation mark. Okay. So if you go to the second one, F10. So here if you look into the variable. Now we see hello world without any space, okay? Because you can see this hello is having a single quote, which means there is no space. This world is not having any space within that single quotes. So we are just concatenating those two strings. So we are getting hello world without any space, okay? Now let's see the third one. So if you press F10 now and uh, look into that variable, now we we are getting a hello world, but if you look closely, that hello world itself is surrounded with a single quotes. Okay, so that is because because of these four, uh, you know, uh, single quotes. So the idea behind this behind this particular uh, single quotes is okay. As you can see, this is one string which we are trying to concatenate with the other two strings. 
the other two strings are having a four quotes okay if you look into the four quotes the first quote and the second quotes denotes that it's a string okay within that we just have a two single quotes so anywhere in the string if you put see two single quotes that will be converted into this one single quotes okay uh, we'll see that also in another example that's why this particular four quotes and this particular four quotes is becoming uh, one single quotes okay and let's see the fourth one so here uh, some of you might have guessed we may get some error but here what we are trying to do uh, there is a string hello world but i am putting a plus uh, and breaking that single string itself okay if you execute this there is no errors okay if you look into the string now we get a proper hello world with a two space so here what you need to understand is we can even split a bigger string into multiple lines without even you know uh, giving the ending quotes which means that whatever the space we have before the plus sign right here we have two spaces so that will be added to the first string okay and whatever the space here or here that will be ignored okay and the second line to start with the uh, word or the character itself so here what we are trying to see we are not concatenating uh, two strings here we are splitting a single string okay uh, so that's the important thing now um, to help you understand a few more things uh, let me go and one more scenario okay so i want to add the string like uh, i am going to work so this is going to be my result okay i want to make this string to work so as you guessed first we will surround the whole thing with the single quotes okay now there is another single quotes here which will cause some problem so if you want to escape that one single quotes we can just give another single quotes next to that so what will happen uh, these two single quotes will become single single quotes i hope this makes sense now with that understanding if you look into this example here you can see uh, we have uh, uh, two single quotes here which will be converted into single single quotes and we are surrounding that with the opening and ending so to make that as a string so i hope that makes sense so if you could look, quickly look into this one uh, i'm directly going to the this one f10 so if you examine that particular string now we have the proper string what we want okay okay cool now i think we understood the basics now let's uh, form the string what we want so let's we want this one right so let me take the whole thing so i'm going to here uh, have it as a reference Okay. Again, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the same thing as TR. So now uh, we we know the different ways of uh, creating the things, right? So let's do it in a straightforward way. Uh, straightforward way means uh, let me take the whole string and paste it here. Okay. Now I will surround everything with the single quotes because this is a string I want. Okay. Now if you look closely, we have wherever we have uh, single quotes inside, we'll escape it with the uh, two quotes. So now uh, there is no room to insert. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the whole string. Cut, and I'll go to the next line and paste it here. Okay, and I'll put a yeah, plus here. Uh, okay, now let's see. Uh, let's finish the escape characters. Okay, now it's a valid string. Okay, uh, because it's a single string, we are split into two, and uh, we have given one space here so that there is no uh, spacing, uh, no issue between this uh, parameter and this parameter. And wherever we have a single code inside, we are now escaped it. Okay, now there is no problem. Uh, it will work. Okay, now uh, I also need to share with you that some case this value become parameter, right? So which means that uh, let's have two more parameter uh, from file. So here, say for example, we have uh, some file equal to, uh, I'm going to say only the file thing, okay, from the dot text. Okay, so to file is going to be okay. Assume we have these two in a variable. Now we need to insert these two variables inside the uh, no, uh, command. Okay, so let's put the same thing as str is equal to. 
Uh, okay, here we'll have a problem because okay, let me increase this length to 500 until y. Okay, so now let's do this. Thing. So, enter a single code and we'll start typing uh, copy object and uh, to object. So, this is the whole thing we want. And inside this object, we are trying to form a from file, right? So, this from file itself, this particular string right so what i'm going to do let me end this with the colon uh, sorry quotes and uh, this is this itself is string so we can concatenate this and i can concatenate that with single quotes here and you can come here you can put a single quotes here and plus plus here i'll be saying to right. so so this is a valid uh, thing but we have some problem because if you look closely, this from file is not having uh, any single quotes around that, right? Because we want in the final object, the file name should be surrounded with the single quotes. But here, we don't have that because the from file is holding only the value, which is the path. Okay, there is no single quotes. So one option is uh, you can put a plus here, uh, okay, and then you can give four dots, which will create a single quotes. The other way is, uh, since this is a string, it's a copy object, right? We want a uh, uh, give a double quotes. It will create a single quotes here itself. Okay, then that makes sense. Uh, so similarly, what we'll do after the end, we need uh, uh, double quotes. So that is the ending of the first IFS path. Uh, no uh, quotes and two objects. Similarly, we need to start here. Let me put a double quotes here. And uh, okay, here also I need to give yeah. Two quotes. Okay, cool. So these two things uh, will work. So now let's try. Let me directly jump into the first one. So this is our first string. Everything is hard coded. Uh, if you look into the value str, we see perfectly the two file names are surrounded with the single quotes, and then we have the actual string. Now this from file and to file, we have the values. Uh, now if you go to this this string, here we will have a problem. Okay, you can see there are a lot of spaces here. Okay, so that is because, but still, uh, this thing is working fine, which is um, we have a codes here and we have a codes here for the file names and everything fine, but there are spaces here. Okay, so that is because this um, file name is a variable of length 50, but it's having the trailing uh, spaces. So, one way to fix you can give a trim of file one and trim of to file which will uh, remove the spaces but i'm going to do a different approach uh, let me come here and i add one in varying okay so if you put varying it will remove the ending space automatically so now let's try to file so let's go now see the result of str Cool. So now we have the exact string with the single quotes surrounded with the you know, path names and then uh, uh, yeah, so everything is cool. So that is the end of this video. Uh, I hope uh, you would have got some understanding of how the single quotes works. Uh, with this logic, you can try whatever the uh, approach is uh, best suits for you. Uh, it will help you to uh, come up with some issues if you are facing any. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope this helps. I'll see you in a different video with a different, different concept. Okay. Thanks for watching.